What's up gamers? Last week, PlayStation had a great showcase, left us with some things to talk about and look forward to. But I gotta say, I think Phil Spencer and Xbox are probably breathing a sigh of relief after seeing this thing. Let's get into it. So with their big presentation, they had some pretty interesting games. Let's take a look here at a list of these games. We have things like Metal Gear Solid, Delta, Snake Eater. People are really excited about that. Marathon, the return of Marathon. Like, who saw that coming? Spider-Man 2 obviously stole the show, the whole show, with an amazing gameplay extended look. Assassin's Creed Mirage has promise at a decent price point. I think there's quite a lot of people excited about Helldivers 2, Destiny 2, this, uh, The Last Shape. Alan Wake 2 got a good, some good reception. This Metal Gear Solid Volume 1 collection, you know what? That just tells me that they want to do a Volume 2, and that's really promising. Street Fighter 6, people are super excited for that. Final Fantasy 16, you know, so it's a pretty good list, even with Cat Quest on there. Dragon's Dogma 2, uh, Immortals of Avian. We got a lot of VR games coming to PlayStation VR 2, and several indie games, uh, which is good news. But here's the thing, a lot of these were CG trailers, like Fair Game. We know that PlayStation bought Haven Studios because they saw something there, even though they've never put out a game. This is their first game. I don't know what to make of this. It looks like Payday, except you're playing against other teams of people trying to steal the same thing. That's kind of what it looks like to me. I think that that maybe has some potential, but I'm not sure it's what people want. That Metal Gear Solid looks to me like it's probably still a long way off we just saw a cg trailer and that's that's it marathon is going to be a live service game and we already know that we're oversaturated with those assassin's creed mirage i'm actually excited about because it looks like it's a shorter game at a cheaper price point it might be a really fun weekend deep dive into the assassin's creed universe the Blucky squire looks good ghost runner 2 i don't know that dragon's dogma 2 is gonna light the world on fire but it looks like it's shaping up to be a really great sequel to the first one that resident evil 4 vr mode does look really legit but here's the thing most of this is third-party games and almost none of it got a release date we didn't get anything new really from final fantasy 16 they this would have been the perfect opportunity to drop a demo and they didn't do it they have a ton of other studios that they've acquired that we didn't hear from at all. Only four of these games are first party games. And one of those is Spider-Man 2, which we all knew was going to be great. And then they show that gameplay look at the end of the showcase almost, and it was amazing. It blew my mind. It looks so good, so much fun, so seamless, switching between Miles and Peter. Uh, it just looked, um, it looked incredible. But... They put it at the end of the showcase, and I think they did that to get you really hyped so that you would forget that the rest of the showcase really wasn't that great. I mean, it was okay, but it really lacked a lot of stuff. Foam stars? They spent quite a while showing us foam stars. Nobody's going to play that. It looks like a super cheap knockoff of Splatoon, which I love. Splatoon is great, but this just doesn't look good. So then... About an hour after the showcase, Microsoft puts out this little card on their social media accounts and says, what a good looking group. Just to remind everybody that there are a lot of these games that PlayStation showed off that are actually also coming to the Xbox, like Immortals of Avium, Ghost Runner 2, Marathon, Assassin's Creed Mirage, Dragon's Dogma 2, Lucky Squire, Alan Wake 2, and yes, Metal Gear Solid is coming to the Xbox. And they left some stuff off of here, like Street Fighter 6 has been confirmed as also coming to the Xbox Series consoles, not just PlayStation. That's a really big win for Xbox. The Final Shape DLC for Destiny 2 will also be coming to Xbox. And I don't think it's been announced yet, but with Metal Gear Solid Delta coming to the Xbox, I'm guessing that the Volume 1 collection will also be coming to Xbox. So this showcase was honestly more of a win for Xbox, who has really had a hard time of it the last couple of months with people just saying they don't have any games and their games release broken. And, and, and some of that's true, like Redfall was broken. It was. 
But watching this specific showcase gave Xbox fans almost just as much to look forward to as it did PlayStation fans. And that's a huge win for Xbox. So really the ball's in their court now. All they have to do is show up with their own showcase in June, which they're planning to do, and give us release dates for three games coming out in 2023, aside from Starfield. And if they can do that, I think they will win back the favor of the fans that are upset with them right now. And I think it'll put them in an even better position than PlayStation this year. They could quote unquote win this year in gaming if they just can give us three or four solid first party games this year. They might even be in a position to shadow drop something like they did Hi-Fi Rush in June, and that would be incredible. The gaming industry just seems to be in such a weird place right now. It's like they can't quite recover from all of the stuff that happened during COVID for some reason. Both Xbox and PlayStation have so many studios they've acquired. Where are the games? Just show us the games. Microsoft, show us the games because you here you have your window of opportunity because PlayStation kind of dropped the ball with this showcase, if we're being honest. Again, I'm saving my allowance, every bit of it, to play Spider-Man 2 this fall. Cannot wait. Looks so good. But the rest of what they showed us here is either stuff that's third party and coming to other platforms or first party stuff that they didn't really tell us much about. So it's hard to get excited about it. But that's just what I think. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Thanks for watching, liking, subscribing, sharing, all of that jazz. Stay kind and encouraging out there, and I'll catch you on the flippity flip.